Christmases before the divorce. I don't remember any Christmases, you know, in the old little house right after the divorce. I think I only remember one Christmas in the house in Pine Hills. And okay. the only thing that I remember about it was, well, two two things. I remember one time there was a cat in the house and a dog <laughs> came into the house and chased the cat. What? Behind the Christmas tree and knocked over the Christmas Wait, tree. Wait, were these your animals or just random animals? I think from the cat the was ours, <laughs> and I think that we found a dog outside and we were like giving it milk. Hey, mom, look! And then the dog saw the cat and ran in the house. Oh, that would um, be like Christmas chaos. Christmas and is knocked ruined. over the Christmas tree. And <laughs> we had a few of those times knocking over Christmas trees. Yep. <laughs> and then I also remember one Christmas I got sick. And I was sick all day. Oh, for Christmas. that's and that the, was like worst. the worst Christmas. That happened when we lived in Florida after we were married. Really? Yep. The first Christmas when we were in Florida, like, did you get James sick? was almost a year. Everyone got sick. Oh, I forgot. Christmas afternoon. See, I don't even remember that. Yeah. I blocked those memories out. I remember the good and the bad, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I remember a lot more about Christmases when we lived in a popkin in the big house. Yeah. Which is when I was like a teenager. I remember... I, I guess when you, if you move a lot. But I moved a lot too. So, no excuses for you. <laughs> <laughs> just one kidding. year, all of us siblings, because there was nine kids in our family too. I remember one year, we all went into the big back bedroom of the house, which was like very far and disconnected from the main living room where the Christmas tree was. And we, we stayed up for hours, like telling stories and telling jokes and I remember even re- we had a, like a, t- a cassette player and I remember we recorded something. I don't remember what it was, but it was something fun. And I just remember having a really good time with my siblings as we like waited and wanted to try to stay up all night, you know, but we had to also stay out of the house because that's where the magic was happening. Wait, and so you all had to stay in that back bedroom? All of us. That would be nice if we had a back bedroom in this house. It was like the kids party room. Yeah. Well, Christmas was being set up and it was tradition in our family to either stay up late or go to bed late and then we'd always get up really early like if we went to bed at midnight we'd get up at like 4 (laughs) a.m or 5 a.m like before the sun came up and we would get up and we would go and we'd see our stockings and we'd open up our stockings and we'd eat candy and we'd see all the presents and it was the most magical vision of of amazing and then we'd always fall right back to sleep there in the christmas tree room with all the presents around us we'd fall back to sleep Uh and then uh, we'd usually wake up again around eight yeah and that's when we'd get (laughs) breakfast and then we'd wake up mom excited for christmas mostly because i'm gonna eat a chocolate orange this christmas that's always your one this christmas (laughs) i'm eating chocolate it's gonna be orange flavored and that's the best